Okay, I've integrated everything into a landing page, which just says coming soon. This will be good enough for now, including a convert kit uh, email address sign up so that if anyone comes and wants to sign up, they can enter their email address for now. Now it's ready to deploy it. To deploy it, I'm going to follow the getting started on Heroku with Rails 6 documentation. One note here, once you switch from SQLite to Postgres and you define a development database here, you can go to your directory and do bundle exec rake db create, and that will create your development database for you, uh, provided you're running Postgres. All right, it's on Heroku now. And it's important that you use a non-free dyno. So the hobby dyno, the lowest price is $7. And this is important because it will auto-generate SSL certificates for you. The free ones do not, as far as I know. So I always use the $7 one. When I'm starting out, I use a free Postgres database. You can upgrade that later if you want. And then in a command line, we can type Heroku open to open the app in a browser. And there we go. This is running on acornchat.herokuapp.com. So this is live and anyone else can look at it. To get this onto acornchat.com, then we can follow the Heroku custom domains tutorial. So here we're going to add www.rsite.com. And it's important here, we get our DNS target but we also want to add our root domain. So we're gonna do the same thing, Heroku domains add just acornchat.com. And now we have two different DNS targets. So we're gonna to go to Namecheap and add those. And here we'll want to change our CNAME record to this DNS target. So our CNAME for www will now be this target. And then we can take our root DNS target and we want to create an alias here. So we'll have an alias at our root, which is at, to that DNS target. And now if we type acornchat.com, we get to our Heroku app. 